Hello and welcome to this session. I'm Raghav. You can find all my work on my website automationstepbystep.com. In this session, we are going to start creating our first Selenium test and as always, we are going to go very basic step by step and I will start from scratch. Now I'm going to make this session two times once on Windows and then I will also create a separate session for Mac users. In this session, I'm going to focus on Windows. So let's get started. And the first step is we have to add Selenium Java dependencies in our Maven project. And I believe you have already seen the earlier session of project setup. So I'm going to start from there. I'm going to go on my Windows system and open Eclipse. And here I already have this project that we created in the project setup tutorial. And here we have already created a feature folder. So you can see this is the project structure. We have feature files here and then under SRC test Java, we have our step definitions and then we have a pom.xml file and here we have all our dependencies. So in the earlier session, we had added Cucumber Java dependency, JUnit and Cucumber JUnit and now I will add dependency for Selenium Java. So let us go to Maven central repository. And here I will search for Selenium Java. And here we have our Selenium Java library, which is from org.seleniumhq.selenium. So I will click here. Now here you can see there is Selenium 4 as well, which is now available although it is in alpha version but let us try this out uh, let me take the latest version available so i am going to go with this alpha selenium 4 and this is the maven dependency i will copy from here and i will paste in my pom.xml file and when i save this it will download all the jars and put it in the maven dependencies folder here so you can see it is now getting all the required selenium jars and it is there in the maven dependencies folder and to in correct the formatting i can say control a and control i and that's it so i have done step number one which is adding selenium java dependency now i will create a feature file and add the scenario and the steps in the feature file so let us say i want to create a test in this session, I'm going to create a very simple test for Google search and in the coming sessions, I will create a more advanced test. So let us say I want to go to google.com and then search something here. Let us say automation step by step and hit enter and I should be taken to the search results page here. So this is what I need. So let me first create a feature file for this. I will go to my features folder, do a right click new file and I will name this google search dot feature and click on finish so I have got my feature file created I am going to delete all this and I will start from scratch so I will first say this is feature and I can give some description feature to test google search functionality and then the scenario i'll just say validate google search is working and then i will create my steps using keywords given when and then now in kherkin language and you can use anywhere so I can use given and then say and and then when so and can be used anywhere so I will say given browser is open so this is the first step we have to get our browser open with selenium library so I will say given browser is open and user is on google search page when user enters a text in search box and hits enter then user is navigated to search results so this is a very simple scenario and to correct the formatting i will do a right click and say pretty format so this is done i will save my project 
so now I have done step number two that is I have created a feature file and added the scenario and steps step number three now is I have to create the backend code for these steps that we call as step definition or the glue code so for that I will go to my step definitions package do a right click and say new and say class and then I will say this is Google search steps you can name it anything and click on finish now I have got this we have to add the functions here now we have seen in the earlier session we can manually create functions and annotate it with the cucumber annotations for given when and and then or we can first run the cucumber file and then it will give us a message in the console that you have unimplemented steps and then we can just copy it from there so I'm going to do that I will do a right click and run as cucumber feature and I hope you remember this option to run as cucumber feature we are getting from the cucumber extension on Eclipse that we added earlier so I will click here and on the console I am getting this you can implement the missing steps so I am just going to copy all this and go to the google search steps class and here I am going to paste it so here you can see I have added the functions here and now if I hover over this error I have to import this from io.cucumber.java.en so if I click here you can see it is giving me the import statement and the same thing I will do with all when and then a simple way is instead of saying import from given I will just say import from star that means everything inside this particular package so that it will import all these annotations and now you can see all the errors are gone so here also if you see it has not taken and which I will do manually so it should be and here and then we have when and then again this is and and then this is all fine so I will save this and to correct the formatting I will Control A and Control I. So this is done. Also, I'm just going to delete all these statements inside these functions so that I can start from scratch and add new statements. And this is how our class looks like now. So this is our entire class. Just to check everything is fine, I will add some print statements. I will say SYSO Control Spacebar to autocomplete, and then I will say inside step browser is open and here I will say inside step user is on Google search page user enters a text in search box hit center and then here I will say inside step user is navigated to search results so that's it I have created the steps here I will go back to my feature file and I will try to run this again so that I can see if this is working fine and if I run you can see this is the console and here I am getting all this so inside step browser is open and inside step user is on Google page all this is getting executed and everything is passed so this means our feature file is able to run the backend code or the glue code or the step definition now until now we have just created some dummy statements we have not yet added the selenium code and before I add the selenium code let us also download the browser drivers that we will need when we are executing our test on a browser so for selenium we need browser drivers like if you want to run on chrome then you need a chrome browser driver or a chrome driver exe file similarly for firefox ie safari etc and if you go to the selenium website which is selenium.dev here you can see all the documentation and you can also do downloads from here i will go to the download section here and here you can see all the downloads now here is the Internet Explorer driver server and then you have all the 
language binding of selenium all these libraries here now i will uh, scroll down to this section browsers and here you can see all the browsers firefox ie safari opera chrome edge etc i'm going to get the chrome driver so i will click on this documentation and you can directly go to this link for chrome driver if you just search for download chrome driver on google here is the link you can directly go to this website so this is the same website you can see this we have gone through selenium website and this is the direct website now here you can see all the current releases so these are all the current releases of the chrome browser driver and you can see earlier releases as well now here you can take the version as per the version of chrome on your system for example this is chrome on my system if i click on these three dots and go to help and say about google chrome so you can see i am on version 81 and let me just check on my windows system this is my windows system where i am creating the project and if i go here and go to help about google chrome so here again i can see this the version is 81 so i will get this uh, let me just open the website here so this is version 81 i'm going to get this now you can also try with the latest version if that works fine with you it is okay otherwise you can see, get the version as per the version of your browser on the system now here we have for linux mac and win32 so get the win32 and even if you have windows 64 bit version or 64 bit operating system it is okay you can get 32 bit version and here it is so i will go to my folder where it is downloaded and i will extract this so i will say extract all and extract the chrome driver exe file and here is my chrome driver.exe now i can directly refer this from here from the project but it is better that i keep this inside my project so in my project under src test resources package i am going to create a new folder and i will name this as drivers and i am going to copy the chrome driver exe to this folder so i can drag and drop like this and you can see it has come here the reason i am keeping this within the project is that even if i take this project somewhere else the driver file or the chrome driver exe goes along with that and it can work on any system so we have done step number four step number five is now we can start adding the actual selenium web driver code that will run our test so i will go back to the step definition class google search steps and here now i can start writing my code for opening the browser and doing all the steps so what i will do is just before all the functions i will say web driver driver equals null and here if i hover over web driver i am getting an error so i will have to import it from org.openqa.selenium and this option you will get only after you have added the selenium java maven dependencies so i will click this and you can see here i have got the import and now inside these functions i can write the code to open the browser so the first thing i will have to do i will say system dot get property this should be get property and here i will say web driver dot chrome dot driver and then i will give a comma and then within quotes i have to give the location of the chrome driver exe file so i will right click on chrome driver exe go to properties and this is the location i'll copy this location and provide this here and i have to give a semicolon at the end now here if you see i have taken a absolute path which is on this system now if i take this uh, project to some other system this can break because this path is as per this particular system so for that we can take a relative path i will show you that in a moment uh, before that let me just replace all these double backslashes with a single forward slash the reason i am doing this is 
double backslash will work on Windows but if I take this on Linux or Mac this will break however single forward slash works on all the systems so let me change all of these this is done and now I will say driver equals new chrome driver if I press control space bar on my keyboard that is keep pressing control and then press space bar I am getting the auto suggestion I will get this chrome driver and it has also added the import here so this can open this will now open my chrome driver and we have basically completed this step browser is open uh, you can also add some more options like wait time in case your network is slow you may want to increase the wait time so I will say driver dot manage dot timeouts and dot you can see we have implicit wait so what does this mean is uh, sometimes if the page has loaded but some objects have not loaded completely and if we try to take any action on those objects we will get a failure so we can actually add some custom implicit weight so here in the brackets I will first give the implicit weight time and then I have to give what is this time unit so I will get the class time unit dot and I can say days are seconds milliseconds so I want to provide in seconds so this is what I'm doing and it might have already imported this from this time unit class so this is what I'm doing here I'm giving an implicit wait for 30 seconds if your application is slow or network is slow you can also increase it from here like this and let me also say driver dot manage timeouts and there is a page load timeout as well and I can provide a page load timeout as well so sometimes if the page is taking more time to load you can increase this time otherwise there will be a failure now if you want to uh, run in full screen or maximized window you can also say driver dot manage dot windows dot maximize or full screen so you can also do that for now let me just comment this out so this is done uh, let me try to run this and see if this particular step is running fine I will go to my feature file right click run as cucumber feature and let us see the execution so the browser is not coming up if I go and check in the console so here I'm getting the path to the driver executable must be set by webdriver.chrome.driver so let me check I have already done that but I will go check again okay the mistake was this is system.set property this was a mistake it is not get property it is set property and now I will try again save and run again and yes looks like this will work now it has opened the uh, chrome browser and that's it because we have not done anything else after this we are just opening the chrome browser so everything is fine until now so if I go to the console this is working fine now at this stage if you face issues like the chrome is still not opening uh, you can check the versions you can get uh, the latest version of chrome driver or try check with other versions as well now before I go further uh, let me also show you how you can get a relative path for your chrome driver so here I will say now this is much easier in Mac and when we work with Python but for Windows and for Java I will say uh, system dot get property and the property I need is user dot dir now this statement will get the location of the project folder which in this case is cucumber Java and I can store it into a string I will say string project path equals this I can also print it just to verify I will say project path is and I will say plus project path now the path of the chrome driver relative to the project path so you can see here it starts from here that is src test so I'm just going to delete this part
and then I will say project path and plus this rest of the path so this should still work fine I will save and run again to verify and yes Chrome browser is opening so that means this is working fine so the advantage now is even if I take this project anywhere to any other system the path will not break and the Chrome driver is here and this is the relative path now so we have done this let us go to the second function or the second step where we go to the Google search page so here I will say I will say driver dot navigate and all these functions are coming from selenium you can always press control spacebar to get auto suggestions and I will say to and here I have to give the URL so which is https google.com so this will take us to google.com and now I have to enter something in the search box in the next step so here if I go to google.com this is the search box so to find the search box I will have to get some property and then create a locator if I do a right click on the search box and go to inspect here you can see this search box has all these properties this is of type input and then we have property name which is equals to Q uh, we have all these properties so I'm just going to use this name equals Q property and if you want to learn how to create locators uh, you can always go to my website automationstepbystep.com and here you will find a section on xpath and web locators if you go here this will take you to a YouTube playlist and here you can uh, see videos on how to create xpath and you can also see some tools like Scree, crowpath where you can uh, that you can use to automatically generate xpaths and locators for you so here I'm just going to use this name property which is equals to Q so here I will say driver dot find element by and I will say by dot name so we have a name here and I will say name equals Q now this will search the element but after this we have to add some text so I will say send keys so send keys is again a function here and I can give my text which is automation step by step and then in the next step I have to hit enter so I will again uh, just go to this element because I have to enter on this element itself and then I will say send keys and to mimic the pressing of enter key on the keyboard I can use the library or I can use the class keys and then I can say keys dot uh, enter is there and yes I think this should work I will say keys dot enter and that's it and here if you see your imports you will see this keys class is now downloaded from selenium so this is done and now the last step is we have to check the user is navigated to the search results page and for that uh, we can just verify something for example if I search automation step by step and hit enter I get navigated here and let me say I will check online courses is available here on this page so for that I will say driver dot uh, get page source dot contains and I will say contains this text online courses and this will verify and then I will just close the driver I can say driver dot close and I can also quit the driver driver dot quit so that's it this is my complete step definition for this scenario and you can see this is the complete step definition and let us now save this and I will go to my feature file now so if I see the steps we have added the selenium web driver code 
and then finally we have to run the feature file and check the execution so I will go to my feature file and run as cucumber feature and let us see the execution it opens the browser goes to google.com and enters automation step by step and it was pretty fast uh, let me slow down or I can add some wait statements here so after it enters automation step by step I will say thread dot sleep and I will say let's wait for two seconds this is in milliseconds so I'm saying 2000 and also you will have to either add try catch or add a uh, throws declaration for this particular statement the same thing I will do after it has clicked on enter and I will add this throws and let me now run this again so it opens the browser goes to google.com enters automation step by step and now it's waiting and now it is entered and this is all working fine if I see the console everything is pass now here uh, as we have seen in the earlier session you can also run it from the test runner or the runner class you can provide your feature and your step definition and then we can also get all these reports so let me try this so this is the runner class that we created in the earlier session and I have already provided here the features location and the step definition and then we are getting all these reports HTML, JSON and uh, JUnit XML so there is a tag here I need to remove this tag we do not have any tags now and I will run this again so it should open the browser and yes it is running our test and this is done and everything is working fine if I now go back to my project and I will refresh and if I go to the target folder we have the HTML report and this is the index.html I will open with my system editor which is the default browser on this system and you can see all this is working fine and similarly we have got JSON report this is how it looks like and then we have got a JUnit report as well I can open it with text editor and this is how it looks like now here I have used a very simple example to get started and in the coming sessions we will see some more examples you can try some examples from your side and let me know if you face any issues I will meet you in the next session thank you for watching